Uh, we are the leading uh, center for Red Syndrome in the world, and therefore our patients come from literally or co all continents. Uh, Red Syndrome is uh, the leading genetic cause of severe impairment in girls. It is caused by mutation on the X chromosome, which is a female chromosome, therefore it affects mostly girls. Uh, this gene plays no role in the early stages of brain development, therefore the girls start developing normally until they're about a year old. Family bonds flourish, they start to talk and then disease starts and rubs them on all disability. And the core symptom is apraxia, which is the motor planning uh, uh, ability. So they lose ability to speak, to use hands, and most of them, as you will see, to walk. Uh, th but they are conscious, they are aware, they understand us, but they have no way to express themselves. They are locked in their bodies. It has been 60 years since we first recognized this disease because these girls look in our waiting rooms very different from other children with neurological diseases. And we didn't make much progress until 10 years ago. Over the course of 10 years, there has been unsurpassed uh, scientific progress. And this disease happens in animal model and faithfully mimics human condition. And it was completely reversible, even in advanced stages of disease. In animals who are old and terminal, they were 100% cured. That was the proof of the principle. And that experiment was published in 2007. After that, year after year, we have breakthrough scientific discoveries, which are now implementing drugs which are uh, available uh, for, for use and FDA approved, which improve red. So we really think literally, things which I told uh, people here last year very impossible are this year within our reach and we expect to have major trials in 2013. My uh, curiosity about uh, this syndrome first came uh, from looking in this girl's eyes. They are, as you will see, they do not have much expression because of motor impairment. They don't walk, walk they don't tell you anything and you just think they are they are much more severely impaired than they are, but they are little girls inside. We have diagnostic criteria, you have to meet several uh, criteria in order to be diagnosed with Red Syndrome. One of them, all are impairments, but one is their strength, strong eye gaze. That is a distinguishing feature because they look with their piercing eyes directly in, in you. And their most important way of communicating with the world is through their eye gaze. Therefore, conventional testing to assess their abilities is not appropriate because every psychologist asks you to say the answer or to point to the answer and if you cannot do either you score zero. We uh, incorporated high-tech technology in our offices and that is actually research but also routine assessment where we capture where uh, uh, girls look. We have cameras which actually uh, capture uh, reflection of their eyes and we show them pictures and we compare them with healthy children typically the, and they're not different. So that is, as a physician, uh, that is something which is more than medicine, that is my human mission. To, to, to uh, increase public awareness that these girls are inside and that we need, it, medical care and science are not enough. We need, because we are doing things for them and there are just some things which we cannot do for them. Uh, they need to learn. We can provide tools, but it has to go to their classrooms. Especially with expectation that life is going to be better. I believe my dream is the ultimate goal is to be able to close the red center. That this disease is not exact, they don't need red doctors anymore.